Hey guys, it's Issy. Welcome to my channel. How are you? I hope you're well and I hope you're safe. I've just finished my first year at medical school and I thought it would be a really good idea for me to talk about things I wish I knew before starting first year, things I sort of learned this year and sort of the things that I did that sort of helped me and this is because obviously when you're going into medical school it can be or even into uni as well can be quite daunting so I thought you know I'll do this video to sort of give you advice and from my perspective and sort of help you guys who are about to start uni or who are going into medical school but before I get started I'd just like to say thank you so much we've finally hit 1k subs oh my gosh like i'm so happy i really appreciate every single one of you that subscribed to my channel that supported my channel honestly i'm so happy because like i actually can't can't believe it i said that you know one of my goals was to get to 1k subs within a year thank you so much guys we did it if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button so you can get to see more of my content don't forget to hit that like button and leave any comments below so now i'm going to talk about first year um sort of the things i learned the things i wish i even knew before i started one thing i would have told myself if i was doing this again i would have said to myself you are not going to know everything this was a really hard pill for me to swallow i think it got to like halfway through the year where I was like okay Issy you're not gonna know everything there's too much information you need to pick out what's important even though I've really struggled with that even till now pick out what you need to think you need to know and learn that when I started I'd like pause the lecture every minute annotate the lecture size spend so much time trying to get every single piece of information down but what happened is that i spent so much time like trying to get the information down that i didn't actually spend any time condensing notes spend any time learning it was just overwhelming but looking back i should have been like okay let me just condense condense these things into notes that i can manage into things that i can understand and then work from there one thing i say to you is when you're going through you know your lectures going through the content make sure you understand what you're learning and then you can go from there because having the understanding is the basis and then building building on that is going to help and also like linking things together as well i think as time goes on you'll start to like know what's important and know what's not important like even even up until exam period, I was still learning things that, that were just too in detail, were like too in depth. So I think, you know, as time goes along, I think I'll get that knowledge or the skill to know what do I actually need to know. And yeah, there was definitely pressure. Like I definitely felt the pressure to know everything. There were times where I definitely felt stupid because I didn't know certain things or that was a hard pill for me to swallow. Um, I like knowing everything as much as I can, but I realised that that wasn't going to work and another thing i wish i knew and i think this is this is also something that's really important and this is something that happened to me i'm just going to be honest that during the year there are points where i fell out of love with medicine i fell out fell out of love i didn't like what i was doing and i spoke to this with my friends on the course as well and like we felt the same and it's the, honestly I felt so guilty because I fought so hard to get on the medical course right and then there were points where it was getting hard and it was tough and I wasn't understanding things and I just wasn't really enjoying it and and I felt so guilty because I was like Issy you worked so hard to get here how are you being so ungrateful you know you know how can you not be liking what you're doing right now but there's nothing wrong with feeling that way. There's nothing wrong with being stressed, feeling like you don't like what you're doing. But in the grand scheme of things, yes, I know where I want to be and I know why I wanted to do it. But there were actually times where, especially during exam period, where I just did not like it. I was like, why am I here? <laughs> Honestly, it was, it was really difficult. It was just because like, you know, I'd put so much pressure on myself and part of it was that fear of failure and, along the way i don't think i was taking good care of my mental health and i think um that was part of the reason why i just fell out of love with the course and i was just feeling a bit lost if you know what i mean and it, it wasn't a nice feeling and it's just to say that if that happens to you it does not mean you, sh you shouldn't feel guilty about it it's i think it's sort of something that could happen 
as part of the process, you know, because it can get stressful. There are times where you might feel like you're not good enough. I know I certainly felt like that. Yeah, the falling out of love with medicine thing. Yeah, I just thought it was really important to share. And this was something I really wanted to talk about and let you know that just me being honest. Yes, I'm so excited for second year to start with placements. I am really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to second year. I'm looking forward to the rest of the degree. And this is one thing I wish I told myself beforehand. One thing I wish I drilled into my head. If you need help, if I needed help, is he ask for help. I did find, especially near the end of first term, I was falling really behind. I was I was struggling with the content. I didn't really say much about it. Well, but looking back, I should have gone straight to my personal tutor saying, this and this and this is happening. To be fair, I didn't see my personal tutor at the end of the term. I told him what was going on. And he, it was that, he was actually really, really helpful and just gave me advice as to how go, to go about things, how to catch up. Um, sort of help me like you know see that it wasn't the end of the world if you are struggling with a lecture or struggling with content or anything make sure you ask for help and go to someone at the time like try not to leave it because the thing is you're going through so much content things are changing so quickly not asking for help is not a great thing to do especially because it really does have the consequences later on like I remember there was stuff from block two which was in first term that I still hadn't covered by the time by Easter I just felt a lot of pressure sometimes you can when you don't ask for help you just feel like you're alone but when you talk to people you, you realize that you know what you're actually not alone you're not the only one that's struggling you're not the only one that's finding it hard ask for help when you need it try as much as you can to not let things pile up another thing is I wish I knew about active recall before I started medical school so I could have started and learned how to do it from the beginning because what I found was you know what like actually trying to recall information is the best way to learn content and there's literally different ways you can do active recall I tried to use Anki from like the second term and to be honest like when I was using it I did find it really useful but I feel like next year I'm gonna implement it properly I'm gonna like properly understand how to use it I feel like it's something that I'm gonna take forward and really like get to know when it came to revision I just had so many cards it was just like too much so I kind of just answered questions but even that helps if you if you want to try it active recall is probably one of the best ways to learn in my opinion and you know there's science out there to prove it as well there's different ways to even do it you don't have to use Anki some people I know absolutely hate Anki some people got their questions on I know on an excel document excel spreadsheet document excel spreadsheet and it looked really really good and they basically had answered the questions the ones you didn't understand they highlighted it in yellow and then they come back to it and then there's people that also use I think the mind maps there's different ways to do active recall there's also Quizlet as well so you know just finding out like what works for you even finding what kind of learning works for you um is really important so it's okay to experiment as well it's okay to kind of not know how to learn i feel like i've definitely just about figured out <laughs> probably after my exams figured out and looking and reflecting like this is what i'm going to do next year um i'm going to condense notes and then make some really good questions on anki from those notes i'm going to use notion to do that and i'm going to talk a little bit about notion in my next point i would have had felt a bit more comfortable had a bit of comfort knowing that i had a good set of notes i could refer to easily um with me <laughs> but it was just everything was just discombobulated this year it was a mess but you know what i passed i did really well and i made it to the end of first year revising with friends as well i know that we'd go for walks and like we'd ask each other stuff on revision cards and like try and get each other to remember certain key things so looking back yeah active recall was a massive 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 part of my revision testing yourself is such an important way of knowing what you don't know because you know you, it's all well and good that like, having the information there and seeing like okay i've written it in the notes now it's there but if you haven't tried to recall the information and you can't recall it it means that it's not actually in your head 
you can only recall something that you know so that's why i'm, I'm i find that active recall was a big part of my vision because questioning myself and answering questions i was like okay i actually don't know this information so now i'm going to focus a bit more time on this and this these things i can answer these questions so i'm going to leave that out and hope for the best that i'm going to note for the exam so you know what it's about you know studying smart and not you know studying really really hard so i strongly 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 do support this and if you can try and get into and find a method that works for you because not everybody is an anki warrior some people like other things and that's absolutely fine and another thing is get on notion get on notion honestly a notion is just like honestly sometimes i can't believe notion is free as well <laughs> So basically Notion is an app where it's basically like an organizer of life. You can literally do anything on there. You know, I'm still figuring out how to use it, um, but I felt like it was really helpful on my weekly to-do list, like schedule when in, like scheduling when to do my lectures. It's so good. It's like having your own little mini website of like your, like your stuff, of like your information, all about you, daily planners, you can even write your lecture notes in there, which is what I try to do. I do yeah, I did have some lecture notes that I'd written in Notion. Um, I don't know if I said this before, but my notes were literally all over the place last year. But to be honest, I really actually like the notes that I did on Notion. Um, I was saying that next year I'm going to condense my notes on there. But you know what? I'm still trying to figure it out and like kind of know exactly, you know, what I want to do on there, exactly how I want to plan my life on there. But once I like, you know, get a hang of it, um, I'm happy to do a video on, you know, how I use my Notion and how it helps me plan my life. So if you would like that, drop a comment below. And to be honest, you can get Notion on your phone, you can get Notion on your iPad, you can get Notion on your laptop. So yeah, it's, and you can have Notion online as well. So it's really useful. If you know you're logging, you can access it anywhere. I do suggest getting something like Notion because it's just like, it's easily accessible and yeah, it's just convenient and it's very clean looking. The aesthetic is 10 out of 10. Very nice, very good looking app. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to say was, honestly, I cannot stress how important it is to use your peer support. And what I mean by this is like in my uni, we have like um, student seminars. So the years above would basically, you know, do like teaching days during the week and they would do um physiology days and anatomy days like the post portal work is amazing and if you do have that at uni and if you know people in the old, old years ask for advice because honestly they've done it before they've gone through the process and they can give some really really good advice about you know things that you should sort of learn or ways to learn the information ways to learn the content make time make sure you schedule time for yourself to socialize um to get out <laughs> Because honestly, like, it was such a shame that most of our year was in lockdown. Most of our academic year was literally in lockdown. Honestly, what I'm saying is, when you get the opportunity, grab it. Like, I feel like you will enjoy uni and medical school so much more when you're, you're doing things outside of medical school because you need that balance at the end of the day for your mental health, for your well-being. And yeah, that is it's really important. Also, I forgot to say, you know, congratulations to you guys that are starting uni, that are starting medical school. I know you've got your offers and stuff. So congratulations, well done. It's not easy, you know, you're working so hard and, you know, you've finally got a place into uni, you've finally got a place. In the grand scheme of things, try and enjoy it as much as possible those moments where you have a break from studying and when you can take a break from studying. Guys, like I said before, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know our new content is coming. All the best and see you in the next one.